shoot out in the um, field um, is a poached pear. Okay. Now you all saw how Chef Key started off with taking her orange and cutting off the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing is that that's the same thing you want to do with your pear. Always look at your fruit and uh, take off any wrappers or whatnot. And then you take your the bottom of your pear where your base is. And cut that so that your pear sits flat because when it's sitting on the plate for a, de for a dessert, that's where you want it to sit, it's just like that. But now what you want to do is you got to try and visualize the stem all the way up, but you don't want the stem gone, okay? So you'll take a core, and this here is an apple core, but it's just a, a basic core, and it's got teeth on the bottom, and all you're doing is cutting through trying to get all the way, the entire core, out of the piece of fruit. And you see how I ended it up here? You can see where I'm at. And you might have a party where you've got 20 of these to do as a plated dessert. And you see how you brought out the entire core of the pear. Like that. Okay. Now, second thing that you end up having to do is take the skin off of the outside. So just like you all have uh, peeled a potato, yep, same thing you go do with the pear. But you really want it to be kind of smooth. White feet. Y'all leave her alone. Leave her alone. Feet. Okay. Pay attention to the pear, mm -hmm. and you want to keep in the same body shape as the pear because when it appears. As the pear sits onto their plate, you want it to look just like the exact piece of fruit. You don't want it to be. Uh, oblong circle or whatnot. You want it to have the shape of a pear. And these are the only time that you want to poach a piece of fruit is when you have a hard fruit. Anybody know the difference between hard fruits and soft fruits? Mm -hmm. Somebody give me a soft fruit. A banana. Very good. Give me another one. Orange. <laughs> Strawberry. Somebody give me another hard fruit. No. Apple. <laughs> An apple. Very good. So you see how we would then take our pear. We'll, we would boil this in some sherry wine or white wine. Okay, let it boil for like you would, like you all said, a potato. The pear now will soak up all of the flavor of the wine, but not the alcohol. And then just like how Chef P shows you all to cut with the orange, that's the way the person would take their fork and their knife and go through like that. Okay? Okay. All right, any questions on preparing for a poached pear? No, sir. All right, cut the film.